eight seven six five four three two one ignition and lift off go Falcon go air set Catching ground range. Stage one engine chamber pressures are nominal. Moving through the clouds there, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. Coming up next, we'll throttle down the nine Merlin engines on the first stage to prepare for max Q at about T plus one minute and 12 seconds. Power and telemetry nominal. Vehicles on the right track. Now, as you may already know, max Q is the period of flight with the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. So it's one of the critical flight milestones we're tracking. Again, we expect that here in just about vehicle 10. Vehicle supersonic. 10 seconds, and with that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. With that call out, we now have three events coming up in quick succession, so I'm gonna talk through all of them right now. We'll start with Miko, followed by Stage Sep, and then SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine M1D engines shut down on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the, the next event, has started. which is stage separation, or stage sep for short. That's where the first stage separates from the second. Right after stage sep, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth for landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. During that time, stage two will continue on its journey to space with the third event in the sequence, sequence, second engine start one, or SES one. This is where the MVAC engine lights up and propels the second stage along with the Aerobsat payload to orbit. Right after these three major events, the fairing halves will separate less than a minute after SES one. So keep an eye out for that too. And again, all of these events are gonna start here in just about 10 seconds. And Miko. Stage separation. With that, we have confirmation of main engine cutoff, stage separation, and you can see there on the right hand side of your screen, second engine start one. While the first stage burn is in progress, we are expecting ferry to, while the first second stage burn is in progress, excuse me, we are expecting fairing deployment as well. Fairing separation. Wow, great view of fairing separation there on the right hand side of your screen. Starting to get some views from the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen now, and you can continue watching the telemetry in the lower corner. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. There's the confirmation that we've started that first entry burn. Again, this is gonna be the first of two before we hopefully stick the landing. Stage one entry burn shut down. There's confirmation that we've completed the stage one entry burn. Stage one landing burn. Nominal orbit insertion. There we've got the call out for second engine cutoff one and nominal orbit insertion on our second stage. Right now we are watching stage the- Stage one landing leg deploy.
stage one landing confirmed. There you just saw a successful 14th landing for this particular booster, which also marks our 195th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and heavy first stages. Thank <laughs> you.